I am on an absolute grind right now. I am so tired. So I just watched Till, the story revolving around Emma Till's mother and the aftermath of her son's murder. So let's talk about a few things. There's a lot of people, you know, including myself, who was pretty nervous and hesitant about this movie coming into it just because of the subject matter. And there are those who just refuse to see it at all because they see it as exploitative or another example of Hollywood making a movie surrounding black trauma. And if you think I, as an Asian guy on YouTube sitting by my Ikea desk, is going to take a stance and debate people on that, you are mistaken. I'm only going to say three things on the matter. One, there are so many good reviews from others that are way better suited to address this movie and those that feel that way, so I suggest you seek those out if you want to. Two, it's okay to feel whatever way you feel about it, whether you want to see it or not. And three, I don't know if this will happen in regular screenings, but in my press screening, there were some words from the director before the movie started that kind of addressed that issue. And honestly, I think she has good intentions and is coming from a good place, but you make up your own mind about it. All opinions are valid here on this channel, as long as you aren't a dickhead. Okay, that was a long soliloquy, but Till, what did I think? I think it's solid. The reason people like myself and other sickos who somewhat care about the Oscars even though they only give me pain are really talking about this movie is Daniel Deadweiler who plays Mammy Till and she is fantastic. There was a lot of hype around her performance already coming out of the New York Film Festival and I was watching this kind of knowing these expectations in the back of my head and a part of me as I was watching was like hmm is this really what people are kind of hyping up? Oh my god she's incredible. As one can imagine it's an insanely raw and vulnerable and just absolutely draining performance and it all builds up to the courtroom scene where she testifies and that is hands down her Oscar clip. It is the best that she was in the movie in my opinion, and it is the best scene overall in the movie. Everything prior to the courtroom is her being broken and mentally beat down. She's screaming, she's sobbing, and when it leads up to that testimony, she stands strong in the face of opposition and talks about being a mother. And that, bing bong, yep, that's a winner right there. So she is fantastic, but you know, I think a lot of people kind of know that she's fantastic just reading prior reviews. I know I kind of skimmed everything leading up to the courtroom, and it is a lot. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this is definitely a tough watch. Like, if I'm being real, I don't even know if I can really recommend people go see this movie like I was for Smile. Like, hey, go to the theater and watch Till because it's so much fun. It's not, obviously. It is an insanely draining and emotional movie. And as it should be too. This movie honestly has a really tough job, you know, outside of the whole public opinions about whether or not this should be made. On one hand, you don't want to sanitize this story because that is just a travesty. And on the other hand, you don't want to be too exploitative or trauma porny with your movie. It's a really tough balance that in my opinion, Chinonia Chukwu, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, strikes well and with respect while still managing to be a gut punch. However, my main issue with this movie is outside of, you know, a few scenes like the courtroom, just to name one, Till kind of comes off as flat and that's pretty disappointing to me. Some of the dialogue is a little stiff. I wasn't crazy about the visual look of the movie. I'll be honest, there were times where it looked a little like a TV show and I wish the movie surrounding the Danielle Deadweiler performance was stronger because she really carries this movie on her back LeBron James style. The story of her is so astonishing and brave but for some reason the movie just every now and then would just dabble back into some traditional biopic tropes that it just didn't need to. Daniel Deadweiler is giving a performance so good that it really doesn't need to delve into those tropes. But you know, that's just some loser YouTuber's opinion. I'm very curious to know how people respond to this movie as it gets set to open in theaters because as mentioned, this is a tough watch. But if you're up for it, I think it is worth it for the Daniel Deadweiler performance, even if I think the movie around her isn't all that great. I'm interested to see where she stands in the Oscar race because I do have some questions on how the movie overall will affect her individual chances or not. But you know, I'm just saying, I'm glad I stuck by her in my top five this whole time, you know, small flex. As mentioned before, October predictions are coming soon. Thank you for 7,000 subscribers, that is crazy. Now, because these videos take much longer to edit, I need to get some sleep. Please subscribe, thank you so much for all the support. Okay, I'm gonna go get dinner and then I'm gonna sleep. Okay, thank you so much, bye.